Hello? Help me get out. People left so much trash. Barbie, don't panic. Ecological catastrophe is canceled. Our channel, Lolly Lou, will show you how to make DIYs out of what we usually throw away. For example, a dress out of black stretchy film. Parcels are usually wrapped in it. Cover a Barbie with wrapping film. Cut off the excess edges so you get a rectangle. Make cuts at the center so it looks like fringe. Wrap a Barbie in film and fasten the dress on the waist. Use a paper thread from gift filing. Tie a bow and cut off the end. We get a stylish vinyl dress. Wow! Let's complete the outfit. For example, an animal printed jacket will do. It is more eco-friendly and fashionable than real fur. Define the waist with a black belt. Whoops, it looks like this belt is a bit short. No big deal, there is a life hack for this situation. Make a loop out of a tiny hair tie. Now the belt fits. Golden sandals will be perfect shoes for this look. We'll make a minimalistic choker instead of a ton of accessories. Wrap a paper thread from gift filing around the neck a few times. Tie a knot and cut off the end. A handbag will perfectly complete this outfit. The look is done. Well, of course, we can't do without a smartphone. Old magazines can make cool posters. Let's make a few pop art pictures. Cut out pieces of appropriate size and pictures. Attach them to thick red cardboard to create an effect of a frame. Cut out another poster. Attach it to the base and cut off the excess. Amazing, I love pop art. Bright vintage poster will be the accent of my interior design. Let's make pots for plants out of wine cork. Cut a cork in half using a utility knife. After you've decided on the thickness of the sides, cut out the inside circle. Use a modeling knife to divide the center into a few sections. Gradually clean out the excess, making a hollow pot. We already have a small succulent for it. Put in some soil and plant it. Press down the soil and water it. Do the same with the other half of the cork and plant a cactus into it. Are these artificial plants in a plastic pot? Nope, Barbie put it back on sale. But we will gladly accept real plants in eco flower pots. The teapot is boiling, but Barbie doesn't feel like drinking tea anymore. The new tablecloth is burnt. Ugh, Yikes. Ugh. We can't do without a coaster here. Cut a cork into thin slices. Shape one of them as a square. That'll be a small cup coaster. Welcome to the table. Who would have thought that you can make something out of used matches? But they come in handy for interior decoration. Cut off the burnt end. Make four matches longer and three matches shorter. Hot glue matches to round pieces of dried branches to be like. Flower pot stands are a hot trend now. And these stands are 100% natural. It's raining again. Barbie had to stay home the whole day. 
Of course, there's no fall without an umbrella. Cut a piece off a cocktail straw so it fits the shaft of the umbrella. Make a ball out of pink light clay and shape a handle. Hot glue a plastic cup lid that is shaped like a semi-sphere to the umbrella shaft. Even the pouring rain is not an obstacle for our Barbie. <laughs> Don't rush to throw away the cardboard after you're done unpacking. How about making, hmm, a marble table out of it? Trace an object of a fitting size on cardboard. Cut out a circle. Now trace and cut out another one in marble patterned paper. Attach marble circles to both sides of the cardboard circle. Cut two 1 8 inch strips along the pattern paper. Attach them to the side of the table so that our marble tabletop looks thick. Use a clean yogurt cup as a table base and hot glue it to the tabletop. Make a puff chair. Turn a coffee cup over and attach faux fur to it to be a soft seat. Enjoy your tea, Barbie. <laughs> a silver jacket won't be unnoticed. Especially if you make it unusual, just like we did it. Take an empty croissant bag and cut off the needed part. Carefully open the bag, but not till the end. Cut the strip along the sealed edge to make it narrower. Make armholes on the sides of the wrapper. Cut off the excess and turn it right side out so the shining side is out. An unusual designer jacket is all done. Let's make a handheld mirror. We can drink the rest of the milk at dinner, but now we need an empty carton. The cap, to be precise. Cut the cap off the fastener. Carefully even out the cut using a utility knife. Place the piece under the front side of a croissant wrapper. Trace the mirror surface on the shining side using a knitting needle. Cut it out and attach it to the inside of the cap, leaving a frame around. Cut a part off a plastic spoon using a heated utility knife. Color all sides of the piece with golden acrylic paint. Decorate the mirror a little. Use hot glue to match a rhinestone to the frame. I can finally correct my lip makeup. That's a very handy accessory. Lolly Lou team will prove that you can make a super stylish doll couch out of a juice carton. Take an empty carton, unbend and cut off the flaps on top. Then remove the cap. Use a hot glue gun to cover the holes we made. Make a circle using a decorative hole puncher to fit the diameter of the hole and cover it. Make cuts across the carton, three inches away from each edge of the box. This way we separate armrests from the seat. Coat the carton with silver acrylic paint. Put a cover made out of sequin fabric on the couch. Barbie, come to relax on the new sofa. This is fantastic. I wish it came with a cushion. Cut a suitable rectangle out of foam polyethylene wrapper.
Use super glue to fasten the joining with another side. Stuff the cushion with paper gift filling of any color and glue it shut. Wrap it in sequin fabric of a different color. Take it, Barbie. Great, thanks. <laughs> Whoa, you can also draw on these sequins. <laughs> It turns out you can make furniture, clothes, and a lot more out of things that are literally under your feet. Did you like our eco-friendly DIYs for dolls? Hit the thumbs up, click on the bell, and watch more doll videos on Lolly Lou.